Oh, no, nah, I sort of, I just knew if I could uh, play good footy at Sample level, then opportunity might um, come. But uh, obviously, I just knew I had to keep knocking on the door and be in good form uh, if that did come. And I was fortunate enough that, fortunate for me, but unfortunate for Ben Rutten that he got a bit of an injury against Fremantle and I um, was in some good form, so I got to go, which uh, I was pretty happy about and uh, something that, yeah, you know, I loved and, yeah, it was a great experience. But, um, yeah, I wasn't sure whether it would come this year or not, but, yeah, I was lucky enough that it did. Yeah, no, he's been awesome. Um, him and uh, Daniel Talia and Darren Milburn, Peter Jonas have been uh, awesome for me, just focusing on um, my defensive side of the game and also um, offensive as well. I think I've added a bit more offence to my game this year, so that's been great and they've helped me out with everything uh, away from the club as well and settling into Adelaide and it's been great. Um, oh, it's yeah, I'm not sure about that. That's his opinion. So if, yeah, if he feels that way, then that's that's great. But um, yeah, obviously I've got, still got to do a lot of lot of improving, and uh, now I guess I've got to live up to that. And uh, yeah, hopefully work on work on a lot of stuff over the off season. Um, no, I think that we'll sit down um, and just talk about that. And Nobes and Sando and stuff, the coaching panel, they'll sit down and have a chat and. Uh, at the end of the season, and yeah, we'll go from there. I think. Oh, it's special! It's something you never forget. Every first uh, first win, you something you never forget. So it was something I'll treasure forever. And uh, yeah, it's actually a bit sticky and <laughs> a bit cold when you're in there. So <laughs> it's not 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 the best, but uh, it's uh, something special. All the boys get around you, which um, yeah, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, it was. Um, I didn't actually take much of the Mexican wave and stuff in because I was, I think I was cramping at that stage of the game. So um, I was just concentrating on getting some fluids in. But yeah, it seemed like it was uh, the, the noise was um, deafening out on the ground, and yeah, was, the crowd was having a bit of fun. I think so. It was great, great experience to actually play out at Amy Stadium and give it a good send off. I think if if we get the opportunity, it'll be uh, great for our development. Um, playing in front of a big crowd and um, playing against the best is something that will further further you develop you um, for years to come and just give you a taste of uh, what it's like to play in finals and something that you'll strive to for years to come and it'll push you over the pre-season to make yourself get better, I think. Yeah, I agree. We have a young group, so it'll be good to get a bit of an early taste for that, especially our back line's pretty young. And There'll be a lot of heat in finals and it'll be good to experience that early. Yeah, it's probably pretty exciting from the outside looking in and what's going to happen during the finals, but we sort of have to focus on what we can do and that's beating West Coast this week and beating them well, so that's what we're focusing on at the moment, whatever happens, happens from now on. And we'd love to play finals, obviously, but it's under, not under our control at the moment. Yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. It's, would like them to win this week if we could actually get the chance. So, um, obviously, that's in the hands of them and Carlton and all the other games we can't control. So, it's really up to us and us and West Coast and what we have to do to beat West Coast this week at the moment. Um, I haven't really felt it around here at the moment, so I, I haven't felt it personally or anything like that. I haven't had any questions about for myself. I'm not sure about any other players, but for myself, I haven't had any questions about that. So, obviously, the game out have taken a little bit of a hit, but that's out of our control, and we're just trying to do the best we can here. Yeah, it's a, it's a better feeling than um, pushing the boundaries each week. And I guess you're not comfortable every week that you're going to get picked as players in the SNFL playing well. We're running Rich and Tamley, he's getting his go now. And, uh, Yenchi, all those boys are playing really well in the SNFL, so it's keeping you on your toes and making you play well each week. And 
obviously I'm, lo I'm loving playing each game in AFL and it's a good experience and getting the body ready for the years to come. At what point did you have that, whether it's a different point that anyone going up another level or a sport of this, that point when you go up and 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 up Last year I played three games and they were one-offs pretty much, so it was a bit different and I was able to experience a little bit of the AFL back then and I, was, I wasn't expecting to play AFL back then. Um, this year I'm sort of striving to play every game and I guess that's the biggest thing for me, so the experience of playing AFL each, each week and being that intensity is really important. Do so you feel like you should be out there and feel like you belong in the club? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable where I am at the moment. I'm getting used to the level and everything like that, so I'm pretty comfortable where I am. No, it's been amazing. Um, our defence and even the midfield and forwards line. It's been a young team this year and we've been able to push really good teams. I mean, we pushed Hawthorne and Freo twice and we beat Geelong. So they're really good teams that we've been able to push and beat. And uh, it's a really good credit to our young boys that we're going in the right direction as a footy club. Just, dri just driving our stand is that, I mean, we haven't finished games off as well as we would like, so we've got to keep driving the ruthless attitude that we want to get as a group and as a young group that we have to live that for a, a long time to come so we'll be driving the standards from then on. Yeah even Brody Smith, uh, Sam Shaw, they're, they're both really young so the more games we play together under the guidance of um, truck and uh, uh, radar it will be really good for our experience and we're our chemistry is building and we're getting more comfortable together so it's been really good so far. Yeah, oh, definitely. When they, uh, when those two guys uh, back there, it gives us uh, a bit of stability and uh, a bit of experience. So to have them them two guys there, it's, uh, it's really good. And um, to get Radar back next year and play with him and see, see what he does on the ground. And that was a good thing about playing on the weekend. I played with um, Benny Rutten and so I got to see what he did on the ground. So that was a great learning learning curve as well.